What is going on, everybody? It is an absolutely beautiful day today, and it is an absolutely beautiful day to bring you guys my 2021 Wants to Battle video. Now, if you are like probably most people, you're like, Huffy, what the heck is a Wants to Battle video? So let me explain it to you. So one of my favorite content creators, Birdkeeper Toby, does a wants to battle tag video every year where he lists questions and kind of sends a video out, uh, answers the uh, questions, and then kind of broadcasts it to all content creators on the platform, more specifically towards Pokemon YouTubers. Um, and then people make videos and that's kind of what it is, right? So it's kind of to get the uh, idea of other content creators, smaller content creators, you know, out there who might not be seen as much. Uh, I have the questions over here on my uh, second monitor. So uh, I also have like some like notes and stuff so I don't miss anything. Uh, so if I look over here, I'm looking at my notes. So let's get started. Question number one. Do you or will you have a channel mascot? Um, for the few people that follow me on YouTube, but the still kind of few people that follow me on Twitch, uh, you guys will know that my channel mascot is Chestnut. You can look right over here. There's my little boy Chespin. Um, so a little bit about the mascot selection. And it's definitely not one that I think a lot of people would think to be someone's favorite Pokemon, but just uh, Chestnut's my favorite Pokemon. Um, when I was in high school, uh, obviously I played Pokemon my entire life, you know. <laughs> Here you go. I played Pokemon my entire life, and uh, when I was in high school, it wasn't the cool thing to do. So I stopped after uh, a couple years after Diamond and Pearl came out. Uh, I completely skipped Black and, uh, Black and White, but don't worry, I went back and played them eventually. Um, and I got bullied and made fun of because I played Pokemon and actually back in my high school days um, I actually Would make let's plays. I was like, you know 15, 14 15 years old and I actually made let's plays of Pokemon and put them out on my YouTube channel, but all those videos are uh, private now because they are not PG and I'm a PG content creator uh, So all those videos are private um, but uh, I got made fun of and bullied because people found my YouTube channel and all that stuff. So I stopped playing Pokemon, stopped making content uh, on the uh, internet, and I just kind of just stopped playing video games uh, for a little while. So when I went to college, uh, I found a, I met a group of people who turned out to be my real friends, who accepted me for who I was. So probably two weeks after I started college, I went to GameStop, picked up a 2DS, picked up a copy of Pokemon Y, and fell right back in love where I left off. And my first Pokemon that I picked was Chespin, and uh, the rest is history. So question number two. What is your best video of 2021, or the video you are most looking forward to in 2022? This question is kind of weird, only because I didn't pick a specific video that I thought was my best video, in my opinion. I picked a video series, and the video series that I picked was my Pokemon X Randomizer Nuzlocke. I did that, um, I, th I want to say, um, probably about March-ish, like March of 2021-ish. Um, it seems like so long ago, but like it was only like really, in reality, like, you know, a couple months ago. But, uh, yeah, but the Pokemon X Randomizer Nuzlocke was so good uh lots of memories with that series lots of memorable uh rememberable pokemon that i used uh lots of random pokemon too uh, at one point i had a groudon uh i i used a zatu like a lot of pokemon that people don't really use i used a magmortar at one point um i had a i found a, uh, a reggie rock at one point um so yeah pokemon x randomized nuzlocke is definitely one of my favorites. Um, I also did a couple live episodes over on my Twitch channel, uh, and that was really, really fun. People, you know, loved when I did that. So that was definitely my favorite uh, 
series. Uh, honorable mention to my Temtem Nuzlocke that I tried. That game is extremely hard. Uh, I didn't win the Nuzlocke. I only got like one one uh, dojo win, but that series was really fun. That game is absolutely beautiful. All right, so question number three. Would you rather have a BDSP-style remake of Heart Gold, Soul Silver, or Legends Unova Kirim game? So this is actually a really funny question because uh, I actually talked about this on stream like a couple days ago, not even seeing Toby's video where he uh, had this as a question. Um, but without a doubt, um, I would rather see a Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl remake of Heart Gold and Soul Silver. First of all, Generation 2 is my favorite generation of all time. Heart Gold and Soul Silver are my are my favorite games of all time. And I would love to see uh, the graphic, uh, the enhanced graphics of BSP for Generation 2. I think that would be amazing. It would be it would be so cool. I think Generation 2 is one of the most underrated generations of all time. You know, having the Kanto as the post game, I think that would be really beautiful in the style of BDSP. Because I kind of like the Chibi Art style. But not to say that I wouldn't also enjoy a Legends, a Legends Unova or Legends Kirim game. Because I also think that Generation 5 is criminally underrated. Like, people are like, that's the worst Pokemon game of all time. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Like, it's totally underrated. And way, way overhated. Some of the best Pokemon came in at, came out of that generation. Yes, we had the ice cream cone and the trash bag, but we also had Haxorus, Braviary. You know, we had Durant. Durant's super cool. All right. So, question number four: What can your viewers expect from you in 2022? Um, I would say a lot more consistency. 2021 was the first year that I created content consistently on two platforms. Um, I took lots of breaks uh, because I was very, I pushed myself way too hard and, uh, you know, it just became kind of mentally exhausting and kind of like a job. And that's not what I want this to be like. Um, so a lot more consistency in 2022. Um, I definitely plan on posting all of my shinies, um, all of my shinies that I get over on my Twitch uh, channel, Let's, Let's Plays. Definitely a BDSP Let's Play is coming in the near, near future. Pokemon fan games, maybe even a Cage Lock or a Soul Link with uh, one of my good pals. Maybe. Uh, like I said, lots of BDSP. And I do plan on bringing other content to the channel. Um, I am a big Harry Potter fan. I'm also a big Breath of the Wild fan. So if Breath of the Wild comes out in 2022, Breath of the Wild 2 comes out in 2022, I will 100% be playing that over on my Twitch channel and uploading those episodes to my YouTube channel, as well as the Harry Potter RPG. Um, if there's anything that I like almost as much as Pokemon, it is Harry Potter, and I'm going to play the crap out of that game over, over on my Twitch channel. I'm definitely going to be posting maybe hints and tips on the game and some backstory and like lore and theories. I think that'd be really cool and a cool way to bring diversity to the channel and not just have it be Pokemon, Pokemon all the time. Um, question number five. Have there been any big milestones for you this year? Um, as a small content creator, uh, I really think it's good to celebrate the small victories. Um, so I wouldn't say there were any big milestones. I set really big goals for myself at the beginning of the year. Um, and unfortunately, like I said, I took some time off, uh, in the middle months of 2021 and we did not, uh, we're not going to hit any of those milestones barring, uh, some sort of crazy thing. Um, but I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's good to dwell on the stuff that you, uh, didn't obtain, but I did get from zero followers on Twitch. Uh, and so far, we're all, we're all the way up to almost 500 on Twitch. But I think it's a really big milestone uh, for someone who just to come into this who has no experience. And I think that's a pretty big milestone. Question number six. Name a smaller content creator you think your audience would love. So, for anybody who watches my channel currently, you're probably going to know all three of these people. But if you're just now watching my channel because of this want to battle or if you knew in some other way... Welcome, my name is C.T. Huffy. Uh, 
But the three channels that I'm going to shout out, um, I'm all, like I said, I'm pretty good friends with all three of these people. Uh, the first one is my good friend Swadlex. She uh, creates content over on Twitch. She hasn't downloaded into the uh, YouTube uh, world yet, but um, she does a lot of Pokemon, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. She is hilarious. She is bright. She, you know, has a personality of gold. And she also uh, plays a Fortnite too. Uh, so it's kind of like, I'd say it's like a 60-40 balance of Pokemon to Fortnite. So if those two things interest you and you love someone with an infectious personality, definitely go check out uh, my friend Swadlex. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, now, this next person I wouldn't say is smaller than me, but it's impossible for me to make this video and not give them a shout out because he's been my ride or die since day one uh, with, in, in the content creation world, and that is my good pal, Frankenstein19. Um, Frank uh, is just kind of getting back into the content creation world. He's only streaming a couple days a week. He works two jobs, so he doesn't really have uh, a lot of time to stream and make YouTube videos, but he has so many good YouTube videos that are already on his channel. Amazing Let's Plays, Shiny Reactions, and all that, all that good stuff. Another person who has an infectious pers personality. Absolutely hilarious person. Does pretty much strictly Pokemon on his channel. We actually have a Shiny Race in Sword and Shield in Dynamax Adventure that I would say is probably the craziest Shiny Race you're ever going to see. Uh, so I'll link that in the description just to give you guys a little, a little taste as well as... All three of these people's uh, links to all their social medias and uh, so you guys can go and check them out uh, easier last person I'm going to uh, give a shout out to is my my pal smoking hot ginger uh, ginger is probably the smartest person that I've met on twitch uh, and YouTube um, he actually hosts Pokemon tournaments um, he actually approached me in my Twitch in my Twitch channel uh, to be a part of a monotype tournament that uh, he was setting up, um, and it was so much fun. I didn't do very well. Jerry's a great, great guy. Does uh, used to do a lot of Pokemon. Um, he's really into Final Fantasy now. He's actually streaming right now as I speak. So maybe when this video comes out, he'll be streaming. I said I'll link his Twitch channel down below as well as all my other friends that I talked about. And question number seven is uh, not necessarily a question, um, but uh, we're asked to tag three people. And the first person that I'm going to tag is my pal uh, SB Coop. Coop uh, over on the Switch channel does Pokemon Shiny Hunting. And he just recently finished up a four way uh, Nuzlocke series um, with three other people, which would be really cool, uh, which is really awesome. Uh, it's definitely a creative uh, series. So, Coop, if you're watching this, how you doing, buddy? Hope you find time to uh, make this video. Uh, second person that I'm going to tag is my pal Frankenstein19. Uh, you mentioned him, one of my very good friends on here on Twitch and YouTube. Frank, I know you're busy, but hopefully you can make time to make this video as well. And last person I'm going to tag is someone who I met actually through a Smoke and Hot Ginger tournament is uh, my pal Wally the Bandit. Wally is a variety streamer over on uh, Twitch, and he actually does uh, music reviews over uh, on his YouTube channel. Uh, he's definitely gaining some ground, so if you're watching this, Wally, how you doing, man? Uh, hopefully uh, you find this interesting, and hopefully uh, all three of you guys uh, decide to uh, make this video. But that's going to be all for my uh, Who Wants to Battle tag. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You know, maybe hit that like button, hit that subscriber button. I'm really close to... Uh, uh, 100 subs here on YouTube and I'm only like six followers away uh, from 500 here uh, over on Twitch uh, So yeah, you guys have a great rest of your day night or Afternoon wherever you are in this world I'll see you guys next time